The only person I've had sex with on Jersey Shore is my boyfriend. I played the Holiday Motel on the Circle in 1970. I know the Jersey Shore. There's a lot more to us than what you see on Jersey Shore. I'm not full on the Jersey Shore Jersey, but in my heart, my bangs are so feathered with tons of hairspray. My husband says that whenever I get tired, it comes out. You know, Hollywood sometimes tends to patronize the interior of the United States. As Horton Foote used to say, the great Texas playwright, that a lot of people from New York don't know what goes on beyond the South Jersey Shore. What I do miss is the Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore won't be around forever. I was very insecure with my body because of my weight loss from the first two seasons of Jersey Shore. Snooki is really beautiful and looks quite like Elizabeth Taylor in Cleopatra. She has the same bone structure. I'm kind of obsessed with Jersey Shore. People don't give them enough credit for how entertaining they are. I was very proud of the Jersey Shore family vacation that was airing on TV. I don't watch MTV. Our sons watch Jersey Shore sometimes. I walk through the room and I get disgusted and I leave and I give them a hard time about it. To be honest, I kind of skipped over watching cartoons and reality TV shows raised me. Literally, in fifth grade I ran home from school and watched Jersey Shore every Thursday, girl. The Jersey Shore is the kind of place where the policeman has a little cottage that might have been in the family for years and many other people call home. Before Jersey Shore, I was a DJ struggling to promote, DJing six nights a week and hustling to pack clubs. In the beginning of Jersey Shore, for sure, that was the Rayal mic. That's the mic that I know, that's the mic I love, and that's the mic I strive to be every day. Grilling outside with my parents at the Jersey Shore. We would grill lobster and corn in the summer. After having done this whole slew of press for big love, now I'll have anxiety dreams for like a week and a half about all the stupid things I said. I can't even imagine being in front of the cameras all the time. I had a weird dream the other night that I was on Jersey Shore. I was the guy from the Jersey Shore, Springsteen Country. We don't do yoga there, and we made fun of anybody who did. Why sit on your butt watching Jersey Shore when you can learn to paint a beautiful picture? I think it is important for young people to see other young people on television doing something positive with their life, making positive changes and growing. I don't think there is enough of that on TV. I mean, we've got Jersey Shore, and I don't know what that teaches young kids. I certainly know all about the Jersey jokes that amuse the rest of the country. You've probably heard them. Our state bird is the mosquito. Our state tree is dead. It doesn't help that we are represented on television by Tony Soprano and Jersey Shore. I took the LSAT the day Jersey Shore premiered, and after that I was too busy to go to law school. I had a weird dream the other night that I was on Jersey Shore. Hollywood sometimes tends to patronize the interior of the United States. As Horton Foote used to say, the great Texas playwright, that a lot of people from New York don't know what goes on beyond the South Jersey Shore. This culture is sort of antithetical in everything it says to the kids. I don't want to pick on Jersey Shore, but it's pretty clear. I would tell the kids good behavior and hard work will pay off, and then they go home and watch TV and go, oh, that's not true. I think a lot of people who didn't know my work before, the Sopranos think I came from the Jersey Shore, like they picked us out of the mall and put us on television. I'm not a big fan of Jersey Shore and those kinds of shows where people are really playing up to the cameras. I personally think Jersey Shore makes Italians look really bad. My parents had a house on the Jersey Shore, I grew up right there, going down there every summer and living there. It is home for me. My first encounter with the ocean was on the Jersey Shore when I was three years old and I got knocked over by a wave. The ocean certainly got my attention. It wasn't frightening, it was more exhilarating. My mom used to take me down to the Jersey Shore when I was seven, eight, nine years old. I can remember being down in that area, Belmar, Seaside Heights, Asbury Park and all those places that I went back and revisited. Well if you from New Jersey, you always knew that going to Jersey Shore was way different from where you lived at. I live in Newark, and that is 150% opposite of Jersey Shore. Barack Obama and Jimmy Hoffa are like Tweedledum and Tweedledee, Lady Gaga and Hype, the Jersey Shore cast and hairspray, inseparable. The president can no more disown the Teamsters Union's leader than he can disown his own ID. 
The modern model of misogyny has to do with marginalizing people who are sexual and thinking of them as dumb, or not serious, or not cool or tweedy enough to take seriously, for fear of seeming like one of the guys from Jersey Shore. The sex is so much more present in sexism than, I think, ever before. Anyone who's grown up or lived on the Jersey Shore knows the place is unique. I lived in New York my whole life. Like every New Yorker, I have stories about spending summers on the Jersey Shore. Riding the roller coaster in Seaside that is now famous for that sickening photo of it being washed out to sea. I understand that there's going to be a shelf life for Jersey Shore. I need a little more Jersey Shore in me, I guess. It's just not who I am. It would almost be phony at this point. I grew up in Jersey. I've been to the Jersey Shore countless times. I've lived it. I don't know what the fascination is with Jersey Shore, the show. I grew up going to the Jersey Shore and I think it's an incredible place to vacation. The show, I think people like to see crazy TV, and that's what the fascination is. Turning the heat up on the red carpet while still looking like a lady isn't as easy as it sounds. Too much vie vie boom, and a girl can look like she just stepped out of Jersey Shore. Too little, and she'll look like a sister wife. I have a rescue dog named Walter and Walter and I are such fans of the Jersey Shore that we changed his name to DJ Wally D. When you say, I spent my summers at the Jersey Shore, people always say, oh, really? They think of the TV show. So I just say, a cute little harbor town in New Jersey. I think that Jersey Shore is awesome. I've gone to Cape May every summer of my life. We've come a long way in our thinking but also in our moral decay. I can't imagine Dr. King watching The Real Housewives or Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is one of the best shows of all time. They had so many hooks. I was named First Team Jersey Shore by the Asbury Park Press, the paper I used to deliver as a young boy. I got to Houston and Coach Williams invited me to walk on the golf team. I was the 18th man on an 18-man golf team. I did Jersey Shore 6 sober and you really just concentrate on yourself and just being the best person that you can be or be better than you were the day before. I've gone down to the Jersey Shore every summer since I was born. It's like a second home, and Asbury Park is like the capital, it's the center of all of it. Musically, it's incredible. On the Jersey Shore, people got a glimpse through a keyhole of who I really am. But the world really started to see me on Dancing with the Stars. I am not the best dancer, that was never my strong point, but I wanted to let people know, hey, this kid is risking a lot just to know a different side of him. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.